Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card. If you would like a personal reading with me or you want to join me on a live, see my writing, see what courses I've done, all of those are down in the description box below. Let's see. What do we have? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mother healing. Listen, I'll read it to you. And I'm going to tell you, I've got, I've got thoughts about this. Okay. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Now you can take this very literally if you have issues with your mother, um, not feeling loved, you know, unconditionally, whatever it is. This, in this day and age, is absolutely talking about the need to heal the divine feminine. Okay. We are no longer going to stifle the divine feminine. The divine feminine is not supposed to come up and just take over the masculine. You know, like chomp, 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 and just like take it over. It's supposed to rise up and be like the power dynamic and to meld together to have that beautiful combination of the two. And right now, the feminine energy has been severely kept down, punished. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to tell you about it. But that needs a comeback. How do we do it? Watch how feminine energy displays. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? You don't like the meal I brought you? What's wrong with it? What? You don't like what I'm wearing? What? Well, you know, he has me as his girlfriend and he has like 10 lovers on the side. Uh, uh, don't get me started. Um, he's got all these lovers on the side, but you know, that's just how men are. They have different needs. You know, it's okay that they emotionally abuse me by cheating on me. You've been together for how many years? Oh, decades. Well, what's the secret to a long relationship? Oh, compassion, compromise. You know, he had a few indiscretions throughout our marriage, but you know, we worked through it, meaning she turned the other way. He promised he wouldn't do it again, and he did it again, and she, they, they, they worked through it. There are things that are out there still pulsing and breathing, and it's disgusting. Just look at social media. Men making videos. Hey, ladies, stop wearing those fake eyelashes. Making fun of women for getting Botox. Your face doesn't even move. Well, they're getting Botox, well, for themselves, of course, but because there is this collective subtle energy that says you're supposed to look a certain way. You can clearly see I have not <laughs> had Botox ever. But, um, you know, ladies, stop wearing those long nails. Men don't like them. I don't know how we ever got to that place where our identity, our very existence has to be controlled by men. And I don't care what anybody got to say about it. <laughs> I do. I want to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. But yeah, this is, when we say mother healing, you have to heal the divine mother energy within you, that divine femininity. And if you're a man, you have that in you as well. You know, this does, in fact, affect men by you not ever being allowed to cry. What the heck is that? I think it's the most beautiful thing when it, well, okay, I was going to say it's the most beautiful thing when a guy cries. And then I remembered an ex-boyfriend who used to cry about everything. And I was, I was tired. I was like, I'm going to leave you to it. <laughs> Just, anyway, um, but, you know, <laughs> men get conditioned, too, to subdue that part of them as if it's bad, the emotional part of them. Um, the nurturing part of them. I have seen so many people who grew up in very cold families. They were not emotional. Everything was very intellectual. And then you try to show them any nurturing care and they dismiss it. They just shut it down. They're just like, no, I, I don't talk about that. That's all the stuff that needs to be healed. Because guess what? That's what's wrong with the world. We're missing the divine mother that we all embody. We wouldn't have so much 
wanting to, um, well, I guess we might have some manipulation because there's a shadow aspect to that too. But I mean, right now it's just very, um, it's sad. It's sad that women are, you can't even disagree with a man because then you're being argumentative. And if you've ever tried to even just stand your ground with a man, he thinks that he has every right to disrespect you and call you the B word or even kind of get threatening with you because you harmed his masculinity by disagreeing with him. I'm just going to leave you with that. I want you to observe, look around, take note. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.